Hello everyone, I am so happy to see you. According to YouTube Analytics, over 70% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. If you guys want Pugsley to eat this month, I suggest you do so. Enjoy the video guys, love you forever and always. Hello everyone, I just wanted to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers. It is crazy to me that we hit this goal so fast, so thank you so much. Also, there is going to be a new series called Road to Diamonds starting whenever Season 12 starts, so look forward to that. I am very excited for that series. Also in Season 12, I will be starting to upload more frequently, like 2-3 to three videos a week. Right now, I am doing 1 video a week, so I'm very excited for that. Enjoy the video guys! Hello everyone, today I am going to be doing a new NAR build. I'm going to be going Immortal Shield Boat with Lethal Tempo, so let's just see how this goes. So I have not really tested out Lethal Tempo a lot of NAR, so I'm going to try it with Immortal Shield Boat. Nice, we got the kill there. I was very scared because I didn't know if he was gonna like dash out of anything or like over a snowball so I'm really glad that we got that kill. So also why Immortal Shield Bow is actually decent on Nar is because eventually late game you're gonna get some health from the uh, mythic passive so at the very least getting some health one of the best stats on Nar. Also the damage, lifestyle, and attack speed also really help him survive. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna be greedy. Oh yeah, I hear struggle. I'm fine though. Nice, he kinda just entered there. Oh my goodness, let's go. Okay, after I clear this wave, I can back and go get some items. So with the new lethal tempo, it stacks and it gives you more range once it's fully stacked. And one of the bad things on our early game is his range. So I really want to test this out and see how much more range it actually gives, how good it feels. Oh my god, okay, I almost entered that, but we got him. Um, I can go back and get my Immortal Shield build now. I should have just autoed him one time. I could have easily killed him, but thankfully we got him. Okay, I have my Immortal Shield build now. So next, we are going to be getting Rage Blade, and then after Rage Blade, we build tank items. He might be dead. Nice. So you see how, that, how much damage I just did there? I autoed him like three times and hit one boomerang with ignite. That's how crazy this build is. Of course he's young so he isn't that tanky, but it just proves that you can take down squishy targets so fast. Here we go, we win this hard. We win this hard, Nunu. If you hit your snowball! Oh, she's dropping you up for me. Thank you. Oh. Oh my god, game planks here. Go, Nunu, go! Let's go! Look how much damage I'm doing. Oh my god, that crit. Wait, he just killed himself. <laughs> Boom, you're dead. I love this build because if you dominate early game, you just dominate the rest of the game. Like you have so much damage and the uh, taking this from the shield you give him mortal shield build. It's like almost impossible that you die. Okay, we have Rage Blade now. Now the build goes into full effect. Oh, he's gonna let me get a two man ult, okay. Okay, ignited him, he's dead. Let's go! We just 1v3 them. So I knew I was gonna die there, but Tom Kinch allowed me to get a two-man ult, and then Young came in, so I just ignited him and just autoed him a couple times. I think I got like one or two crits off, so we did a lot of damage there. So the next item I'm gonna go is Randu and Zolman because they have a lot of crit dealers. Um, if they, if you need anti-heal, you go Thornmelt, or if you need MR, 
uh, I would usually say Wit's End, but I would go Spirit Vistas with this build because you get a lot of healing from a Mortal Shield bow, and plus it increases your shield. Oh, she's dead. Oh my god. Wait, this Morgana's build's crazy. She basically one-shot her. I didn't really do anything there. Boom, we got him. Oh my god, he killed the Yasuo. No! Oh my god, I kind of just destroyed him there. Well, they f would Okay, as you can see by the damage charts, we did the most damage. After building Immortal Shield Bow and Rage Blade, I would build items like Randuin's Omen, Thorn Mail, Spirit Visage, any tank items. And if you want to go full bruiser, you can try items like Black Cleaver with it and Titanic Hydra. But important to note is that you're pretty squishy with this build still, even with Immortal Shield Bow because of Rage Blade. So you need to go at least two tank items. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys forever and always.